Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a solo import export guide. This guide is 100% solo. You can make $650,000 an hour. This is one of the best methods for solo players. And this guide is, of course, you can incorporate your MC businesses into it to make about $900,000 an hour or so. But this is 100% solo. Uh, this version of it is. If you have any questions, ask down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, I'll have a tips and tricks video that I made a few months back that will be in the description. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you like and subscribe for more content. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is when you load into free mode, you're going to want to get, uh, you want to start up Ed Hunter, just register as a CEO, and then start the VIP work. Uh, do Head Hunter. I recommend Head Hunter just because Sightseer can have you going all across the map and it can take forever. Head Hunter is usually very quick. All you have to do is take out four targets. Really easy. There's going to be two people on the ground and two um, targets in a vehicle. Both of them are easy. The vehicles are a little more annoying sometimes. So just because, like, you know, you got to send, like, about four or five rockets to blow up the vehicle. If you send two rockets first and then you shoot, uh, like, you shoot two rockets, wait a second, and then shoot again, the target, once the target gets out the vehicle, then what it'll do is the explosion should you normally kill the target because after two rockets, the vehicle will stop. Uh, you also got to be careful on this mission, though, because if you're not, then the enemies will shred you. They are accurate, and they are deadly. They have a lot of health, so it is very annoying in that aspect. And then sometimes the people on the ground, of course, are annoying just because you'll lock on to multiple things. So a lot of the time, I'll end up having to free aim mod, and I recommend the same for you if it's on the ground. Just line up with the target from a certain distance away or get off on a building and shoot a rocket or snipe them or do something. Um, but the ones in the vehicles, just use the oppressor. You can use the buzzard for this if you don't have an oppressor. You can use the hydra if you want. Hydra will get through this, and I've done it in like a minute and 45 seconds. I think maybe a little sooner, maybe a minute 40, not too much sooner. Um, I finished this with the hydra, and most of the time with the oppressor, you can finish in under three minutes. That's probably a little long. These one, these guys were just a little far, so that's kind of why it took me a little longer. Uh, this is probably the easiest one. Sykes here is easy, but you... You know, you might go from down by the airport up to Polito Bay. That's the only bad thing about Sightseer is that you can't guarantee where it's at. But Sightseer typically does pay more just because where it takes longer, you get more money. Uh, so, it's like that. And then uh, Headhunter, will, <laughs> Headhunter will give you about uh, 20500 to 21000 usually. If you take a little longer, it'll give you more. The max you can get is 25000 The minimum is 20500 and for the guide, I just used the 20,500 number. The next thing you're going to want to do is to call in your turbite and go to it. I recommend don't have like a central location for your turbite because then you got to go to it every time. Just right after you finish the headhunter, call in, call in the turbite, and boom. You go from there because you have a central location, you'll have to go to it, and it's just really annoying. Um, so, right there is the location for the diamond shopping mission because you don't want to drive the turbite over there, even though it tells you to. Because if you do, then it takes longer. You just want to get out. Like, if you say you don't have the oppressor mark to it, just get on your buzzard or whatever, get over there somehow. Just don't drive the um, turbite over there. Uh, if you have mark to it, it's way easier, of course. Uh, this is the alleyway you're going to look for, is kind of curved at the end. So, you'll see in a second what I'm talking about. Uh, there's going to be two dudes outside that are part of uh, the armor truck company. Blow them up. Blow, just shoot the truck. Blow them up. I'll always get a notification. Um, blowing them up. And then what uh, someone told me before uh, was just shoot a rocket into, uh, in, uh, not a rocket, but shoot a grenade launcher around into the store. And then it'll usually kill a lot of people. Uh, it, it's way easier because I used to just fight everybody and the dude with the shotgun is the most annoying sometimes the diamonds will go through that wall back there you can't do anything but wait the time out or close out but this mission is very straightforward very easy there should be no struggle no struggle really there's a 30 minute cooldown so the next time you're going to want to run I recommend the life invader one or uh, the robbery in progress whichever one you prefer doesn't have to be diamond shopping either you don't even have to use diamond shopping just one of the client jobs that you like uh, there's going to be two of them that you're going to want to pick and make sure that it's solo god so never mind but these will pay you about 30,500 to I think 35,000 I've never taken that long on it but this one usually gives you 30,500 you'll get it done in two and a half minutes max usually it's really simple really easy straightforward easy 30 grand no problem at all 
All right, so next thing you want to do is either head back to your terabyte from that location, uh, the delivery location, head back to your terabyte or office and source a vehicle. Uh, whatever one's closer, whichever one's easier, it's whatever. Um, either one will work. Uh, if you need snacks, go ahead and get those if you're at your office. Uh, and yeah, go from there. The source of vehicle, go get it. Simple. If you have enemies chasing you, I probably should have used a different clip for this. But uh, if you are in the, uh, if you're getting your vehicle and you have enemies chasing you, just make sure you pull over to the side of the road or pull over somewhere, and then you get out and kill those enemies. There should be about three to four waves. I mean, three to five waves that come after you. If you are in a lobby with people, they will still come after you. The uh, only time they don't is on cell missions. In this case, uh, I didn't have any enemies come after me. It was a straightforward mission. You won't get this one a lot. Uh, rarely will you ever. Most of the time, you're gonna have an enemy chasing you, and if you do, they'll come. Out, they'll come after you like a couple blocks down the road, and then just like I said, pull over. And as you do the missions, you'll kind of find places where you can pull over. And it'll actually protect the vehicle. Sometimes you just got to pull over the side of the road somewhere. And if you're using the oppressor, take care of them. Make sure you're careful because of fire spreading and damage in the vehicle. You don't want to do that. Um, just kill those enemies. Like I said, three to five waves, simple. If you want to use the cargo bob, get to a thousand feet and go. I cover that in the tips and tricks video. And if you are going to drive the vehicle, though, be careful when you do. Because if you do not, then you'll crash. And say a crash might be a hundred dollars in damage or it could be like two, th uh, two or three thousand it's not like those Thanos costumes where you can come in with no doors no hood no trunk and then pay four hundred dollars no this is a couple thousand that you're losing just to do it right so you want to be very careful if you're going to drive these back and make sure if you have enemies chasing you take care of them most of the time now there's going to be two types of enemies that chase you there's going to be armored car ones that pull up and uh they're very accurate. All the enemies in the Port Export are very accurate. And they will shred you because they'll also have a helicopter come with them. And then there's going to be these, um, I think they're Korean dudes. And they will, uh, when they come after you, they will, uh, they'll just have two cars. So one rocket will take care of them. They're not as annoying, but they're still accurate and automatic guns. And they shred you. So you have to be careful when you're running Import Export. The oppressor is a great way to handle them. Just make sure you don't hit your car or have any fire going towards your car, and you should be fine. When you're selling your vehicles, it doesn't matter what it looks like. You're selling it. You're not keeping it. So just go on, right? This is the next thing you're going to want to do. As soon as you deliver that, if you can, go ahead and sell a vehicle. It'll cost. You always pick the top range vehicle. I mean, the uh, specialist buyer, whatever, the bottom buyer, he gives you 100000 but you pay 20000 You make the most money from that. And it's just it's the smartest thing. You, you just make the most money. And on this one, you'll also have enemies chase you unless you have someone in the lobby. I had my friend in the lobby possible. Uh, I'll have his channel linked down below. But he uh, he was in the lobby, so I didn't have an enemies chase me. If you're solo, you'll have enemies chase you. Same thing as source and just pull over, kill them. They'll be oh, there'll only be the two cars that come after you, and they're not armored, so they're easy to handle as long as you're in cover or something like that. And they're not after the car, they're after you. So you can just pull over and they won't shoot the car as long as you're not in it. They're trying to kill you. You just have to be in the car so they hit the car uh, whenever you're driving. But when you sell, it's easy. Just pick the specialist buyer or whatever his name is. And uh, it'll be $100,000 for top range. And you'll pay $20,000. Go deliver it. It's simple. I mean, the selling's not that much. And whenever you're customizing it, you can customize however you want. You have a time limit. I recommend just going through it real quick because it doesn't matter what it looks like at the end of the day, you know. But the uh, cell missions are usually pretty straightforward. If you have any chase, you get out, kill them. If not, then drive on down the road. If you are solo, though, you will have enemies chase you. If you are in a lobby with people that are not in your CEO, you will not. That's selling. There's not much more to it. Just same thing as sourcing in a way. Just drive carefully. Like, I'm kind of driving stupid, but just drive carefully. Try not to crash because you'll lose money. And, I mean, that's really it for that one. The next thing you want to do is sell your bunker. Make sure you have resupplied, by the way. I forgot to say that in the beginning. But uh, just make sure you resupply your bunker before all this. And then, you know, about two hours, about two and a half hours later, come back and sell it. 
for 210,000 and you'll make 135,000 profit and whenever you sell it make sure you buy your supplies bunker cell missions is you know, I mean this isn't a bunker guide just deliver the thing and make sure no one joins your lobby and tries to grief you you're fine um, bunker cell missions if you're selling at this rate one thing of supplies will always get you one vehicle no matter what so I got a lucky I got lucky on this mission got an easy one there's not really much to the bunker sales like I said this isn't a bunker guide just deliver the stuff and that's a 210,000 you can add to that total that you've made in that day and straightforward I forgot to also get footage of selling nightclub so I made a video uh, that I'll link below that tells you when to sell your nightclub so just make sure that you watch that to sell before 20 hours to make the most money and you're fine so you know say once a day or once every other day however long you play or if you go AFK maybe once a day maybe once every other day whatever sell your nightclub uh, you know just sell your nightclub there's not much to that either just once a day sell it your bunker you can maybe sell two or three times in the play session depends on if you've gone AFK or how much you had built up previously all that simple guide here I'm gonna have the videos over now Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna have math at the end if you, you know, if you want to see how I got the number that I did. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next one. Make sure you like, subscribe. Peace out. Bye. Here's the math for it. The import export. You can sell one car every 20 minutes. That's roughly three cars an hour. That's three hundred thousand dollars. Sightseer slash headhunter plus the client job will get you two hundred two to two hundred forty thousand if you get paid twenty five thousand and thirty five thousand. That'll be the two hundred forty thousand dollar number. If you only get paid the twenty thousand and thirty thousand five hundred, that'll be two hundred two thousand. Bunker will get you ninety one thousand three hundred four dollars an hour. The nightclub will get you forty one thousand five hundred. The nightclub popularity will get you twelve thousand five hundred. And of course, you have the arcade if you have that uh, for the uh, casino heist. And then your good boy behavior stuff and all that little extra stuff. So you could probably make a little more than six hundred fifty thousand an hour. And of course, if you have friends to play with, you can throw in your MC businesses and boost that number up to about $900,000 an hour. It's just not fair to include that on a solo guide. I thought about putting the cocaine on there, which would put this at like uh, roughly $730,000 an hour. But the cocaine is just too iffy to really run easily. Anyway, guys, like I said in the last part, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe for more. See you guys next one. Have a good day.